Yo guys, welcome back to the channel. So, as you know, there's going to be another level 250 Hyper Burning event, which means you have to make the decision of what character should I Hyper Burn a 250? And the question that bears in mind is like, what is the most efficient or like, what is the best character to burn a 250? And in my opinion, I think the level 200 to 250 jump is not very like yes it does kind of help but it's i think it's very like mid max if you will like it's very minuscule it's not really like something that you should be worrying too much about obviously like the, i mean the short answer is like you should just do whatever character you want like if you're gonna burn a character to, to level 250 you might as well make it a character that you enjoy or a character that you enjoy bossing with because especially if you're a reboot you would want that character to be, you know, another bossy mule so you can get those extra boss crystals per week. Um, but if you're doing it for stats, let's have a look at the chart. So, keep in mind, all of the Legion member effects, like the block, let me just go to the Legion thingy real quick. So you see how this gives me 80 luck, or my dual blade gives me 100 luck. This is not affected by percent, so it is flat. Um, it's final stat, it's not affected by stat bonuses, so... Yeah, it's it would give so if I yeah it, if I wanted to do like Kali to level two hundred it would be plus eighty so I would only gain plus eighty flat on top of 867,861. so yeah it's not like a huge amount so whatever character you burn for the stat it's not really you know worth it for like I mean yeah it is worth it but it's flat so it's like whatever you know it's like it's nice for like level like thirty characters with like other than that it's like it does help but it's, i don't know it's, i think it's very min max so the best kind of block would be something like you know, crit rate if you're lacking critical rate and you don't have 100 percent crit rate i would probably do like night lord um now ho young gives you flat luck mercedes i'm considering so for dual blade we use a cooldown hat so we every single second counts so for me i'm probably going to do Mercedes because it goes from minus five second cooldown per, or minus five percent cooldown to minus six at level 250. Um, I have the thing pulled up. Where is Mercedes? So yeah, at level 250, Mercedes gives you six percent minus cooldown. Um, boss damage for Demon Avenger that doesn't seem too bad. So you get an extra one percent. That's actually pretty. See, like what I'm saying is like it doesn't matter. Like all of the. <laughs> Like, the jump from 200 to 250 is so fucking small. You guys have to understand, it is so fucking small. It's like, it doesn't matter. Just pick a character that you want to play. Like, if you don't like it, <laughs> if you don't enjoy the character, then why the fuck are you doing it? You know what I mean? Like, it's crazy. Like, it doesn't matter. But honestly, if you want, like, an extra, like, 80 to, like, 100, like, you gain, like, plus 20 stat. You could get a thief. Or, like, so if, if, I'm a, if you're a thief, you could do, like, another... Well, Kali is a thief, so Kali gives you plus 80 luck, if you didn't know. So, if you get a t t uh, Kali to 250, that would be 100 luck. So, if you're like a thief, a Night Lord, Ho Young, Kadena, whatever, you could just do that. Um, don't have to think too much about it. If you enjoy the class, then it's going to be a breeze. It's going to be fun. You should play a class that you enjoy playing. Now, if you're a character like Dual Blade, I would definitely pick Mercedes. It, so, it's it, it does seem kind of min max like i just don't it, it's gonna barely add any dps to my you know battle analysis or whatever but i just think it's just the peace of mind that like hey i got it to, uh my mercedes to 250 for the extra one percent cooldown reduction or skill cu cooldown reduction like that is just i don't know it's just it's kind of troll honestly another thing that i'm kind of considering like for a lot of people is like for, for example if you main bishop the most valuable stat for bishop is probably buff duration so, what gives you buff duration is actually a mechanic. So let me find out a mechanic. Where the fuck is mechanic? So a uh, mechanic gives you buff duration. So at level 250, your mechanic will give you from 20... So at level 200, it's 20% buff duration. At level 250, it's an extra 5% buff duration. So if that's something that you value... I would say if you're a bishop main, for whatever reason, I would do mechanic to level 250. Just for the hell of it. Because I heard mechanic is like really good at training. Um, I honestly, I don't enjoy mechanic at all. Um, I'm probably playing it very wrong. Like, I think I just literally threw hyper, uh, extreme growth potions on my mechanic to level it up. But, um, yeah. Another thing that you could do that's really min-max is, um, 
So 0 at level 200 gives you 10% EXP, but at level 250 it gives you a whopping extra 2%. So it goes from 10 to 12% uh, bonus EXP, which is actually very troll. Like, that's gonna add up if you train- if you're like a crazy person who's training to like level 300, like uh, Nehru, the bishop in uh, the other world, like that that could help. I bet Nehru has like a level 250 zero, I don't know. Um, but yeah, there's so many options really, like there's- okay, so I wouldn't recommend doing- well, like I said, this video is just kind of for fun, like I don't think any of these really matter in the, the grand scheme of things. I just think you should pick a character- okay, so let's talk about- okay, let's talk about crit damage. So Jet, first of all, Jet is getting removed. Rest in peace, Jet. You'll be missed. But it's just like- okay, so a character that won't be getting removed ever is Shade, because Shade is quite literally part of the lore. So shade will never get removed. So you could you could consider doing shade to level 250 if you want an extra 1% crit damage. So at level 200 it's 5% crit damage. At level 250 it's an extra 1%. So it's 6% total at 250. So there's shade, and then what's the other one? It's gonna be Hayato, right? So let me type in crit critical damage. So it's okay. It's jet. Well, jet's removed. So we're we're actually everyone is losing critical damage because of jet removal, which is actually tragic. Like, absolutely tragic. So the only other options for critical damage uh, legion blocks is Shade and Hayato. And honestly, like, the fact that Hayato is literally a freaking uh, JMS class, I just, we don't know if it's going to get removed or not. I, I personally don't think they're going to remove Kana and Hayato. Like, nobody even plays those classes. Like, I've never seen a, a Hayato main in Vera. I, guys, I've been playing in Vera for, like, two to three years, and I've never seen, like, a liberated or like end game black mage like die hard Hayato main. It's actually insane. So, and then you guys know what happened to Kana. Kana got nerfed. Um, See, so yeah, I wouldn't do Kana to 250 either. Well, you could, but I don't know. I just don't think it's worth it. But anyways, I just got so sidetracked. But yeah, I mean, I I honestly don't think they're gonna remove Hayato. So Hayato at level 250 would give you 6% critical damage. So I think that's actually something you could consider. Um, the fact that GMS is like very loosely connected to JMS. Um, if you guys didn't know, JMS gave us the familiar system, so we do have a lot of JMS exclusive stuff um, that KMS does not have. Um, if you guys didn't know, uh, KMS doesn't have familiars, so JMS we just have a lot of JMS stuff. So what, that's why I'm thinking like I don't think they would remove, um, you know, Hayato because like yes they're gonna remove Jet, they're removing Jet, but like it's not necessarily as buggy as or hayato is not as buggy as you know jet because jet is just kind of a class that only exists in um gms so or if i'm if i'm not mistaken but um yeah i i don't think they're gonna move um uh jet or jet uh, hayato but holy shit i'm just guys i'm just rambling but <laughs> if you got anything from this video just just pick a character that you would enjoy like playing like whatever you grinded so i'm assuming you have ak legion don't okay <laughs> you see this shit fire poison mage max mp five percent fuck off fuck out of here no <laughs> seriously don't do shit like this okay do i would okay top tier i would say mechanic for the buff duration very nice for um it if you guys didn't know buff duration actually increases your angelic buster uh buff duration so it does increase the uptime um zero is kind of troll um, it gives you 2% extra EXP like we talked about, so that is up to you. Jet is getting removed, so don't even fucking bother. <laughs> um, Bishop, AD Intelligence, don't worry about that. So yeah, Shade, I would say Shade is actually one of the top ones I would do. Um, oh, honestly, Wild Hunter is kind of good. I don't, okay, so I don't know too much about the math with this one, but it's, it's kind of vague. It's like, your attacks have a 20% chance to deal 16% additional damage. So let me look that up in the, um... Uh, the Wikipedia. Where the fuck is... Uh... Resistance, resistance. So yeah. Okay, so Wild Hunter at level 250 gives you a 20% chance to increase damage by 20%. So that is actually kind of... It seems like it would be helpful, but I don't know if that like factors in that well. Um, don't do Blaster, that's like an extra 1% IED, that sounds terrible. I mean, if you enjoy Blaster, go ahead, I'm not gonna stop you. Um, yeah, there's a lot of options. Don't, I, I wouldn't recommend doing the flat stat ones like Dex, 
plus 80, strength plus 80. I, I, if you're really like an endgame whale and you really like that class, go for it. Be my guest. Uh, I would just do the classes that have like, you know, school, uh, skill cooldown, crit rate. So the classes that give you crit rate is actually Night Lord and then uh, Marksman? Yeah, Marksman. So, Sniper. Um, okay, Evan is pretty useless. Don't do Evan. Look at the 70% chance to recover 8% of the base MP with each attack. Fuck out of here. Um, yeah, Kano would give you an extra boss damage. Same with Demon Avenger. Where's Demon Avenger? Yo, where the fuck is Demon Avenger? Somewhere. But yeah, Demon Avenger gives you an extra 1%. Yo, where is she? I gotta find her. Holy shit. Okay, she has white hair. Where is she? Yo, I'm not playing. Okay, yeah, so so Demon Avenger and Kana have the same thing. Um, but yeah, I, I for so for Dual Blade and Dark Knight, since we use cooldown hats, I would definitely do skill cooldown. Um, yeah. Okay, don't do Demon Slayer. Demon Slayer gives you abnormal resistance. That's fucking terrible. But yeah, uh, I put everything on the screen. Um, I'm just going to end the video now because I've just been talking for so long. Um, if you got anything on this video, if you're a bishop, if you're if you're a bishop watching this, I would do mechanic mechanic for the buff duration. If you are a uh, if you're lacking critical rates, I would do marksman or night lord gives you extra one percent critical rate at two fifty. Or if you're a dual blade or dark knight, I would do Mercedes. I think Mercedes is such a fun class. I am 100% going to do Mercedes. I'm going to burn her just to a level 250 because that seems like a really good. It, it, I don't think it's going to make a huge difference, but it's going to give me peace of mind. Guys, if you get anything on this video, whatever class gives you peace of mind to reach level 250, and whatever class you think you would use to like actually boss on weekly for those extra boss crystals and i know that's more of a, a thing in reboot but gms or gms uh regular server could definitely benefit off of a bossing wheel because level 250 uh hyper burning is just so good honestly guys i didn't i this was my hyper burn character last time i didn't do it i i just i got lazy i don't know if i'll do it this time but i i'm really gonna force myself to get my mercedes to level 250 because god damn it i actually really enjoy mercedes okay mercedes is a fun class Y'all, if you guys like Mercedes, comment below because I fucking love Mercedes. It is it is really hard to play, but it is so satisfying. Maybe I should make like a Mercedes video in the future, but I'm not like a Mercedes um, main. I'm just a Mercedes enthusiast. I just love the aesthetic. But yeah, I'm getting sidetracked, y'all. I'm getting so sidetracked. Make a level 250 Hyper Burn character, and I will put everything on the screen for the bonuses. Um, there are a lot of useless ones. But hey, if you really enjoy that class, go for the useless Legion block, because level 250 with that is... It just feels good, it feels good, okay? And they're, I, feel like, I really feel like they're gonna keep doing this. They're gonna, they're gonna do another one. Every six months or so, they're gonna do another 250 Hyper Burn. It's just how it is. I think that's just gonna be the setup. And as MapleStory goes on, like the future of the game in KMS, you get, you know, six month uh, future side of the, the roadmap. We're gonna get more easy content to the game. It's going to be more accessible. So we're going to get more Piper Burns. Two, level 250 is going to be way easier. Level 260 to 270 is going to be easier. And then level 280 and then God, level 300 will be like... Someone will be level 300 like by next year or like two years from now. So yeah, I don't know. Shit's happening. Shit's happening. And I'm telling you, the, the Hyper Burn shit is not going away. It's going to keep happening. So I think everyone's going to eventually get like 10k, not 10k Legion, but everyone's going to get like 9k Legion. It's just going to become easier and easier and easier. But uh, holy shit, we lost the plot. I'm going to I'm gonna end the video right now. If you guys enjoyed this video, if you guys found this informative, if you guys found my rambling um, rhythmic and soothing and just like background ASMR noise, whatever, you just turn on my video to like, you know, fucking sit in a toilet or like go to sleep. People have told, you know, people have told me that they like watch my videos to like, fall asleep and like honestly that is so tense <laughs> y'all are fucking crazy anyways drop a comment below if you enjoyed this video um i will see you guys in the next one this is just me being a fucking crazy ass like <laughs> I, I can't even but yeah holy shit i'm ending the video goodbye